Hey guys, Cool Domino here. As you may have noticed, I am recording my new camera to start with. So that's pretty cool. And I got a new unboxing. What this should be here, this should be a Gentex Commander 3 fire alarm. Stuff. I have my BG12 pole station and test it on later. I'm a screwdriver. Anyway, so this is the box right here. It's a nice box because it has the eBay tape, which I like. And let me focus to focus this with Okay, whatever. So I got this and we're ready to start unboxing. So this will be my first alarm. I will get from my fire alarm panel, which you'll see in another video. I put some duct tape on the label because I don't want you to know where I live. Alright, here we go. So here's the thing right there you don't really need to know about. Packaging. And here it is. Gentex Commander 3 comes in a very nice box. I see. Let's go ahead and take all the bubble wrap off so we can go to the box. So I'm going to zoom in here. So this here is the Commander 3 box right here. So it's nice. Nice box. It's a selectable candela. Let's just, I'm gonna focus. Uh, so I'm on selectable candela. Here are the. Here's your front. So it looks like on the side. That's the back on how to mounting. And those are features right there. Over 24 volts. It's pretty cool. I got this power cord right here, and this outputs 24 volts. So this would probably work for that. Now let's go ahead and open up the box. Oh, sorry. Let me zoom out. All right, here we go. Here it is, up here. Looks like that's a mounting plate, and there's nothing left in the box. It's like a circuit diagram. Let me make sure this is focused. Um, focus. Okay, so here's the alarm itself right here. So, wait, come on. So here's the alarm. Right here. And here is the, I think this is the melting bracket right here. So, that out. Looks nice, kind of heavy. So, what I'm hoping this would be able to fit on the standard back box, which I hope it will. And it looks like maybe. Looks like it will fit on the standard back box. That's good to know. So let's take a look at the alarm right here. You can see here. Let me do that way. I don't know if this will focus on the alarm, but. Yeah, I need to get a. So here's the alarm right here. So this just came, comes off. I'll figure out how to get that on later. This is like selectable candela, it looks like. I know it's a 15 candela. That's how I adjust it. So you kind of push this little tab in and kind of slide up and down. This can cook to 110 candela. You push that in and then you push up like that. So I'm just going to keep it down at 15 candela for now. There's your dip switches. I don't know if you can see that, but if I zoom in, maybe you can see them. So those are your dip switches. Those are your with tones. You can set your tones that way. It's pretty cool. This has the Gentex logo on the bottom. This is the strobe, obviously. And here are the contacts on the back. Here is the label, if you ever want to know exactly. I'll give you a moment so you can screenshot that if you want. Alright. Had your moment. I'm gonna zoom out again. And now let's go ahead and snap this on the plate. 
see how well it fits. I gotta figure out how it goes on. So it goes on like that. It looks like. It looks and just appears to me. Just snaps in place. Like that. That's how that goes on, and this goes over top. And there we go. Here's the alarm right here on soon. Yeah, so here's the alarm right here. That's what it looks like. So now let's go ahead and wire this up right here. And we'll give it a quick test. I'll test it along with uh, when it's on my panel as well. I'm going to have to break it off. I can figure out how to get it off. I got everything wired up, so I'm ready to set it off. Got my keys, I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. All right, so I changed the switch on here. I guess I'll find out that changes the tone or the volume. Let's find out. Get my keys. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, that's the volume one. Good to know. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you change the tones. So I had it on a high volume originally, now I have to put on lower volume. So I zoom in there. I'm going to take the plate off. You see here, um, there are some dip switches. This is the one right here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this is the one right here I changed. I flipped this one down. Alright. Here we go. In three, two, one. Okay, that doesn't do anything. In three, two, one. Okay, that's continuing. Now see what this could do. See what I look like with the lights on. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Two, one. And that is it, and I'll be right back. I'll be showing a short time lapse of me installing this device onto my display board.